Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to download and install the latest Obsidian OS 14 build based on Android 14 onto your OnePlus 9 Pro. So at the time of recording, even the beta update is not available, let alone the stable update. But I managed to find out an update package for this phone. So in this video, I'll show you how to install this. This is an alpha release. So you will come across a few bugs and issues as well and it might be unstable in nature. After the alpha release, we go to the open beta phase and from the open beta phase, we go to the stable phase. So this is even before the open beta phase. So you will get a, an idea as to how unstable it might be. But still, if you wish to try it out, then this guide will come in handy. As of now, I have managed to find the Indian variant firmware of this build as you could verify from here it's the LE2121 and the same is there in the firmware so I will try to find more region firmware as and when that happens I will upload the link in this guide itself so you could get it from my guide as of now it's just for the Indian variant and this is you could verify the same by going over to the settings menu of your phone then go to about device and as you could see you could either go to the version and Check out the build number, it's the LE2121 or apart from that you could also go to the Oxygen OS version and check out the current version, it's the LE2121. So you could verify this from here and make sure that it's the Indian variant. Moreover, before starting, make sure that you are on the latest Oxygen OS 13.1 version. For that you'll have to be online, then go to settings about phone, then type on Oxygen OS and make sure that there are no pending updates. If there is any pending updates, then make sure to install that update right away. Once that is done, let's get started with the process. I am again saying this is an alpha release. So please make sure and keep in mind that it might be unstable and there might be a few bugs and issues. I have managed to find this build file. So I'm sharing in with you, but the choice is completely yours. So with that said, please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to place this firmware file on the Oxygen OS 14 file onto your phone, but not inside any folder. Simply place it inside the internal storage. As you could see, this is the storage and this is the firmware file. The name of the file does not matter. Simply place it here. Once that is done, you will also have to download and install the OP local update APK file. This will be used to install the update file. So install this app onto your phone. So this is the APK file. Let's install it. It will take only a few seconds. Now tap on open. Now tap on the settings icon at the top right. Then choose your update file and it will ask for the local upgrade. So tap on install now and the installation process will now begin and it could take a while. So let's just wait for the time frame and then we will be back. So guys, the update has now been installed. Once that is done, you just have to tap on reboot. So let's do that and check out the result. Do keep in mind that the first boot up will take up some additional time. It could take up to 5 to 10 minutes. This is completely normal and nothing to worry about. So let's just wait for the time frame and we will then verify the and check out the new Oxygen OS 14 based on Android 14. So let's give it some time for it to boot up. And as you could see the first boot up and the boot logo also took some time to appear. All these are completely normal and nothing to worry about. So let's keep a tab on this. In the meantime, I'll be uploading the new re release of the alpha or the beta in this guide itself. You could simply re refer to my guide and the steps are same for all the versions. Currently it's the alpha build and as I have told you in the alpha build, it will be somewhat unstable and you might come across a few bugs and issues as well. After that, we will reach the open beta stage. OnePlus has said that for the OnePlus 9 Pro, the open beta will be around in the month of November itself, but it hasn't given us any date as such. So until it releases the open beta, you could try out this alpha release. I'll add more and more alpha release as they are live and as I could find them. So currently, as you could see, our phone is now booted to the new Oxygen OS 14 based on Android 14. The boot up was in fact quite fast. It took only around a couple of minutes and the only thing that it did was optimizing apps. So let's now have a look 
this is the new oxygen os 14 android 14 so all my apps are still there as it was before as you could see from here and this is the settings menu from here then let me first and foremost show you the about device section and as you could see we are now on the latest oxygen os 14 build it's the official version android 14 and it is the le 2121 for the indian build and the version is up to date as you could see it's 140054 so as of now i have installed the first alpha release then you could install this second one in the similar manner by using the op local update app as well or you might now get ota updates from here itself automatic updates from here as well you might get so it will check for updates and give you a prompt apart from that as you could see it's on the latest android 14 build and i have yet to use this os version so i'll use it for a couple of weeks or rather a couple of days and see how it goes in the meantime you are also free to try out this build and check out how it goes for you now if you talk about the downgrade process on how you could downgrade from oxygen os 14 back to oxygen os 13 stable there exists a couple of methods the first one is obviously by by using the msm tool and the second one is using a fastboot rom so for the fastboot rom you could downgrade to android 13 and 12 and using the msm tool you might only be able to downgrade to android 11 i'll make a separate guide for both on how you could do a downgrade using msm tools to android 11 as well as using the fastboot rom to android 13 or android 12 do keep in mind that while doing a downgrade it will wipe off all the data so make sure to take a backup beforehand and then you could refer to my guide i'll link this guide in the video description as well and in this guide as well so keep a tab on that i'll upload it in a couple of days so guys one more thing as soon as i installed the update i only had to wait for around a couple of minutes and now as i could see there is one update already available for me so let me show you as you could see the update is live now so the latest update is around 210 mb so just to tell you once again i had installed the first alpha release and after installing just a couple of minutes later i, I have already got a new update as you could see from here it's the second update it's the alpha 2 release which i uploaded over here so as you could verify from here currently i had the dot 54 version and now i have got the dot 55 built from here so and it has quite a few bugs and issues fixed as well and as you could see it's an alpha release so let me install it it will take only a few seconds so let me show the result as well so so if you install this build and you will also get an update and the solution will take only a few seconds but the extracting process might take up to a while likewise if you install an h06 update and you will automatically get date updates subsequent updates as and when they are live so that's not a cause of concern let me just show you as soon as the extraction is done you will have to restart your phone and upon the restart you will get the latest update so let's just wait for a few seconds and then i'll show you that as well so guys the extraction as well as the verification process is now complete once that is done you now just have to tap on the install now button and it will now verify the package and then automatically install it the installation will only take a couple of minutes at the very max and once that is done your phone will automatically boot to the os during the upgrade process the data will not be wiped but still i will recommend you to take a backup of all the data on your phone because currently we are dealing in a testing environment in other words it's an alpha release and in alpha release we know the track record of oneplus there are high chances of a data loss so please take a backup till you are in the alpha as well as in the open beta phase only when you reach the stable phase the data backup might not be required but as of now please take a backup before doing every upgrade and as you could see we are now done the upgrade and we are now on the latest build so let's verify the same so go to settings menu about device and currently oxygen os 14.0 and we are now up to the latest build which is 14.0055 as you could verify from here moreover let's now verify the 
security version as well so this will allow us to make sure that we are on the latest build as well so let's go to the version number and it's the latest here as well so as you could see we are currently on the october patch so the november patch is yet to be released in alpha releases the security patch usually does not upgrade on a monthly basis that usually happens with the beta and stable phase that's not a cause of concern anyways currently we are in the alpha release and as soon as a new build goes live you could either download it from my guide or check for the OTA updates or uh, updates from this section and solve the updates from here without any issues. So guys on that note I round up this video. If you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.